So first of all, this can be estimated as the slope of the price yield relationship. For example, at this point here, if I've got Y0 as my current yield and P0 as uh, my current price, I may try to estimate the slope at this very point. Right? So you can see here the price yield relationship, the familiar price yield relationship is inverse and also curved. Um, but in order to obtain that estimate, what I will want to do is shock yields up and down. So let's say I were to shock yields down and let's denote this as Y minus. So the yield when yields were shocked down and let me read that of the curve. So that point here, let's call it P minus. Indi indicating that that is the price of the bond when yields decline. Don't get confused. That is the higher number. So P minus is the higher number. And then if I were to shock yields up, let's denote that as Y plus. Again, I'm going to try and read that of the blue curve and that will give me my P plus. And again, don't get confused, P plus is lower than P zero and certainly lower than P minus. So what I can do now uh, in order to estimate the slope is I can actually look at this entire distance. So the distance between P minus and P plus. So that is effectively the total change when I shocked yields up and down. So here I could say P minus take away p plus so that's going to take uh, the entire vertical distance for the calculation of the slope remember to calculate a slope you need to rise over run okay so the height of the triangle imagine this being a, a triangle so is the height over the um, horizontal length of the triangle um, and so in the denominator i'm going to have the number two the reason why I've got this number two is because I'm taking an average. Remember that I went left and right around the current yield value in order to, to sort of get a, a more accurate approximation. So I'm taking an average here. I need to divide by the initial price because I want to obtain this as a percentage change ultimately. And I also need to multiply here by the shock in yield and that's going to be input as a decimal. The reason for that last um, input is uh, to ensure that the output, the result of that formula will be interpreted as the percentage change in the bond price for 1% change in yield. And that, my friends, uh, that will actually approximately calculate the percentage change in the bond price and that is what we would refer to as approximate modified duration.